Hey, Scorpio, welcome to your March 2021 reading. The goofiest thing happened. February was a short month, and so when it was time to for the weekend to do these readings, I just assumed it was an elemental. Anyway, last week should have been the, I should have um, come out with these uh, Zodiac readings, but I went ahead and did the elemental ones because I forgot because February was a short month. Anyway, let's month if I can get on into it. Uh, so these are, you know, a week late, well, late, whatever, but they're late. Um, so here they are this week. Thank you for being here. These are uh, for March 2021 or whenever you find them. Um, remember, these are general readings. So if you're looking for private bookings, you can go to the links down below uh, for booking, Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff. Um, remember, please to like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe. If you're here, I would greatly appreciate it. And check your moon and rising. Okay, Scorpio. So for this week, we are going to be working with the Celtic cross again. Excuse me. Uh, just kind of tapping in to see what kind of energies are showing for you guys. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so right off that, yeah, lots of swords in like really key parts. You got swords in what's crowning you, so what you're really aware of. You know, swords are, you know, overthinking a lot of up here, like doing the most, right? You also got swords down in your like what's hidden, uh, what's beneath the surface, what's really going on at the root, right? What's in the subconscious, did I say that already? And you also got swords in your hopes and fears. Um, so you also got swords at the bottom of the deck. So that really lets me know that like, especially since it's combined with your situation in the middle being like pretty dope, it lets me know that you're really over, 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 over thinking some situation that like actually there looks like, it looks like there's some good stuff going on, but, um, Either you're, you're questioning yourself, you're doubting yourself. I'm going to actually pull cards for um, three positions, clarifier cards, to get some more information. We're going to do one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Beneath the surface, crowning you hopes and fears. Get some additional information here for Scorpio. For your situation at hand, we have three of cups, which shows a celebration or like some sort of like social gathering coming together, um, uh, maybe some partying. Um, but what's crossing you is page of wands, which um, page of wands is like something new. Maybe this celebration or, or the social uh, settings, social um, gatherings are to celebrate something, some new project that you've begun, okay? Although there seems to be a lot of worry about it. Okay, let me see. Three cards, please. Three. That's three. I mean, that's one. It's position three, but it's the first card. One. We need card number two, please. Mm. Two. Okay, perfect. And then, okay. So here, here's what I see. Um, for what's beneath the surface and what's hidden, you guys got nine of swords. So even though we have this dope situation happening here, there's still that worry, right? Um, normal, right? Normal, but annoying. Um, no, normal because like any pattern or thing that we're working through um, doesn't just fucking go away. 
overnight. Even if the good things are happening to us, there's always kind of this kind of beneath the surface lingering kind of doubt, worry, fear, anxiety, stuff like that. Um, and I pull clarification cards and you guys got impasse. And impasse is another way of saying like reroute, take a different path, okay? So either these cards mean that my spirit's like, don't do that, do something else, which is annoying and condescending. Or it could have something to do with um, because this happened, whatever you're celebrating or whatever uh, kind of happy moment this is, um, celebratory moment is it, it may have caused you to have to change your plans or reroute so yes on the exterior it might be um, a great thing but it's causing you some worry because you have to change your course of action you know uh, when I pull your clarification card for what's crowning you five of swords so this is shit hey to me this is almost no, it's not worse, but it's 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 just more heavy sword energy and it lets me know that you are not able to enjoy this because you, there's so much doubt and worry. And when I pull clarification cards for this 5 of swords, you guys get destiny. So, kind of the way that I take that is that you're not destined to feel like this, but it's letting you know like um hopefully was seeing this destiny card in this position and hopefully help you to like be like okay 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 all these changes are they're meant to be it's part of my destiny and i can maybe release some of the doubt about what's happening here okay that's my take on it when i pull clarification for your hopes and fears position which is seven of swords you guys get growth so we're leaving this old way of thinking Okay, um, we are always scared or there's always some kind of worry. Even when good things are happening, there's always something that, um, and usually that something isn't an external, well, for some of us, it's external, right? Sometimes we all, we seem to always be getting knocked down, but sometimes those things are deeply, um, personal and emotional. Those, those kind of like setbacks, setbacks, okay? Um, so, um, there seems to be some worry that we are maybe even making the right choice. Um, I wouldn't worry. You have growth in your hopes and fears. So, so whatever's happening here is, there is growth here. It's, it's good. It's good stuff that's happening for you. Okay. In your past position, you guys got two of wands. So there was some, something you had to choose recently in the past. Doesn't have to be recent, but <clears throat> past position. Two, two. Did I say two of swords? Two, two of wands. So you've had to make a choice, and it feels like a big choice for sure. Maybe even a move or something like that. Your future position. You get my girl, the high priestess. So. In this, I'm just looking at what you guys can see. I thought it looked nice, but now I'm looking at it. It doesn't look very pretty. <laughs> In this, whatever, whatever is being started, there's some, some new, new flame starting here. Okay. There's, and it could be, it could have to do with, you know, work or, how you make money it's possible i'm saying that because in your position we have queen of pentacles which is dope 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 okay but whatever this kind of new flame is whether it's a person this could be somebody fire sign that's crossing you um it's causing it's, you know here, here's all these swords right but moving forward they want you to just be able to get still and know how wise you are um and to be move in the direction that your intuition guides you what feels right and the wind is picking up you hear it in your position you guys got queen of pentacles super dope energy she's grounded she's wise she's mastery of all things of the earth which would mean mastery of career if you're having issues being stagnant in career or you're making career moves 
whatever it is within career, it shows you whether you feel it or not, this is you're b becoming this queen. You really are taking the steps necessary to, to embody her more. Um, the environment around you, you guys got nine of cups reversed. So this is the wish fulfillment card. So it's almost as though um, there's something that you had hoped for that um, is either right there, it feels very close, okay? This could even be people around you that um, you feel are either helping or hindering your goals um, for the environment around you because it's reversed. It's a wish reversed. Um, it's a reversed wish card. So it doesn't mean that the wish isn't coming to you. It just means that there are some obstacles, okay? Um, and part of those obstacles might have to do with how worthy even you feel of the love that would come from this situation, okay? Because cups are, you know, love and fulfillment. So when it's reversed, there may be kind of um, having trouble feeling like you're even all that worthy for it. Okay, hopes and fears. We said seven of swords, okay? And your outcome card is the eight of wands reversed. So eight of wands <clears throat> shows things happening quickly and swiftly. It also talks about messages coming in. But there's a little bit of kind of this energy of feeling like <clears throat> the message isn't getting through. The message isn't getting through. For some of you, it's a literal message, text, email, miscommunication um, with somebody or within some situation that um, the message is not getting through. Um, <clears throat> so just be mindful of, you know, thing, issues like that, especially if you're dealing with people in relationships, whether it be personal relationships, work relationships, whatever kind of relationships, <clears throat> there may be blockages to communication somehow. Um, and swift, right? Because when you see this card upright, this is your outcome card. These wands are really coming down, shooting down quick. They're bringing in a message quickly. So when it comes reverse, we see that message not being able to be relayed maybe shooting daggers at people rather than being more receptive, okay? At the bottom of the deck, you guys get King of Swords. So, great segue. King of Swords is mastery of communication. He's also He also could represent somebody air sign. Um, so, because you get this in the root and you get this on your consciousness, right? All this bullshit here. Here he comes to kind of clear things up. Um, this could be somebody who has a big influence in your life, or this is just somebody, this could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, or this just could represent your need or your ability to really express yourself clearly and logically. Um, this guy's great because, you know, especially for Scorpios, any water sign, right? You're naturally delvey. You're naturally in those waters. So sometimes he shows up to help kind of balance that energy, right? All that emotion, kind of clear it out, kind of cut and dry, gets to the point. What's his point? Okay. So what's your point? What do you need to communicate or express? Um, or what, what are you going through that represents communication and, or he, being able to hear people or uh, see things clearly? Let's go ahead and pull you some, um, Oracle cards. Uh -huh. Yes, Lem Lemurian courts practice patience. Practice patience. So, practice patience. I didn't get the sense that you guys are um, very impulsive, but there may be some process that you're going through that may feel stressful that you're, you're not seeing it through yet, and it, that can be stressful. At the bottom of the deck, you guys got pink 
opal. Be kind to yourself. So remember, be gentle, be kind to yourself. Pink opal. All right, Scorpio, short and sweet. I love you guys. Happy motherfucking, uh, I was going to say Thursday. Today's not even Thursday when I'm recording. <laughs> Happy motherfucking uh, Monday. And uh, remember to check your moon and rising sign readings for additional perspectives and hit the like button and leave a comment and, you know, all that good stuff. All right, y'all. Love you.